respected jury, my friends, and this August gathering. I'll speak uh, legal propositions in respect of preparation of NRC in the state of Assam. In 1951, NRC was prepared on, the, on executive instruction in the state of Assam while the census was carried out. But that could not be completed throughout the state of Assam. And recently, in the year 2013, the Assam government led in the Assam Assembly that uh, NRC documents of six districts are not available. And voter list of 1966 or 1971 uh, of many more districts are not available. This NRC, the term is being used as updation, whereas uh, the rule says about preparation. Because 1951 NRC is not completely available through the state of Assam, then that cannot be updated. But rather it can be prepared basing 25th March 1971 as a cut-off date. The rule was framed in the year 2003 for preparation of NRIC, National Register of Indian Citizens throughout the state of and so the country, but that role provides for house-to-house -house enumeration. And in the year 2009, that rule was amended, and Rule 4A was added with the main rule, and a schedule was appended with uh, these uh, rules for speci uh, special provision for preparation of NRC in the state of Assam. The schedule says that the NRC will be prepared in the state of Assam containing the names of those who are having their names in the NRC of 1951 or any of the electoral rules up to 1971 and their descendants. Rather, we can say this uh, NRC, National Register of Citizens, within bracket, descendant, by descent. Because uh, the persons who acquire citizenship by otherwise by uh, following due process of law, whether it is registration or whatever may be the, uh, after 1971, they are not entitled to enlist in this NRC. This uh, issue of uh, applicability of Section 3 of the Citizenship Act, that is citizenship by birth, was not, uh, is not also considered for this uh, NRC process. Recently, Honorable Supreme Court referred this matter whether Section 3A1, that is uh, by birth up to 1987, would be applicable uh, in this process or not, or those uh, who claim citizenship on, on the strength of that very provision of Citizenship Act will be entitled to include their names in the NRC or not, is referred to the Constitution bench on 13th August 2019. The NRC process, uh, while this process started as a pilot project in the year 2010, there was resentment among some section of people in respect of this process and application forms and procedure. Then in the year 2010, Assam government constituted a cabinet subcommittee for discussing the issue with all stakeholders of the state and prepare a modalities and SOP, standard operating procedure, how to pre prepare the NRC in the state of Assam. Then it was unanimously decided that the NRC would be prepared on the basis of uh, these two documents and 13 documents, other documents were added to these two documents which are mentioned in the rules. This process started, the verification process that is office verification report of the documents which were submitted, that back-end report was called for and two types of documents were used for this uh, inclusion in the NRC. One kind of document that is prior to 1971 that is called da uh, legacy data or legacy document and another kind of document that is linkage document to link with that very person, legacy data holder, by the descendant. Now, after this publication of final NRC, which question arises, that is the person will have to approach the foreigners tribunal as per paragraph 8 of the schedule um, uh, that was appended with the rules. The paragraph 8 says that the persons who are not satisfied with the outcome of claim and objections, they may prefer an appeal before the designated tribunal constituted under Order 1964. The designated tribunal 
might have been something different from the foreigners tribunal because this appeal right to appeal is a continuous process of nrc nrc process this is not different from and when a person is referred to the foreigners tribunal he has to produce his certified copies of documents and he has to produce the continuation of his presence in the uh, in india or in the state of assam but in in in, in case of nrc the person was or rather is required to produce two documents there is one prior to 1971 another after 1971 only to link and this uh, applicants were asked for submit their family tree family tree rather we can say it uh, legacy tree yeah mr x is a legacy holder a b c d used his legacy every person has to submit uh, was required was required to submit their family tree consisting the names of all persons who use this legacy data for cross checking the authenticity now in the foreigners tribunal people uh, people are uh, getting confused that if this uh, appeals are virtually converted to reference then people will be at uh, difficult because 19 certified copies of 1951 nrc are not supplied by the government yet judgment of honorable guwahati high court is there the in 1976 that uh, 1951 nrc is not a public document rather it can uh, be said as a private document that's why uh, the people will not be able to get the certified copy of this 1951 nrc except the electoral rolls of 1966 and 71 other documents land document people may get uh, the certified copy but other documents are there and the, those are not uh, given certified copies but the, those documents were considered while carrying out the nrc process and 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 this designated tribunals rather uh, this uh, tribunals are now termed as foreigners tribunal rather this tribunals could have been termed as citizenship tribunal because this uh, this process enter process of nrc is being carried out under the citizenship act and rules frame they are under not under the foreigners act or for uh, the foreigners tribunal order whatever may be then uh, then some legal questions comes out what happens honorable supreme court uh, in a case individual case held that the person who have already approved the foreigners tribunal and whatever may be the outcome whether he has referred or he approached whatever may be the outcome he is declared indian citizen or foreigner he cannot uh, approach the foreigner tribunal again red judicata will apply for that some people who are already declared as indian citizen but under the imdt act or imd tribunal and foreigner tribunal they are left out of uh, this final nrc and now they are barred by this judgment red judicata will applicable what they will go one 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 uh, one class of people and another category of uh, persons the children born uh, after 3rd december 2004 there was a modality for disposal of claims and objections of nrc process which was approved by the honorable supreme court on 11 2018 the model is clause uh, 4 sub clause 9 says that if a child of a uh, child of uh, 14 years or below the age and his both the parents are qualified to be enlisted in the nrc then the child should be included in the, in the nrc on the basis of oral testimony of the parents but such uh, many more children are left of uh, left out from the final nrc the children are also required to approach the foreigners tribunal virtually the child cannot move the foreigners tribunal or designated tribunal whatever may be the parent have to approach uh, as a legal guardian or Uh, as a parent of that very child uh, then uh, we are thinking to move uh, honorable apex court for uh, some mechanism for this uh, two categories of people those who are uh, now uh, remedy less uh, rather we can say remedy less uh, due to operation of law and procedure thank you very much